Hi there, Ian again, and today I'm going to talk to talk about acid water, or uh, more correctly called electrochemical activation of water. And what it's about, it's about the ability through electrolysis and a bit of chemical to create a water that's highly acidic or and or highly antibacterial. Now, the old technology around is using a water ionizer or something similar where you split the water into acid and alkaline and to get the very high uh, acid, uh, acid levels in the water what you do is you add a bit of uh, sodium chloride, bleach, uh, in, to enhance the water make it go even lower right down to 2.7. Now it has to get to 2.7 because at 2.7 that's when it starts to be very good and antibacterial. Now, I said old technology, and the limitations of the old technology is that is the lifespan of the water's uh, antibacterial ability. Not only that, it's the fact that it's very acid, and acid stuff corrodes things. So you've got uh, limited life, uh, acid corrosion, and because you use a form of salt, sometimes you, if you wipe down the surface, you might get a salt residue. That's, that's no big thing. Uh, but the Level of SD501, this machine here, uh, at the cost of uh, nearly $4,000, does do it. It creates your alkaline water, but it also creates your acid water. And here's how it does it. I'm going to do it for you. Let's say I want some acid water. Okay? Right. I'm going to pull this off. Pull this out. Open this up. You with me so far? And there's a tank here that holds in what's called enhancer. Uh, I'm going to try and take the top off as I should have done in the first place with the enhancer and pull out. Well, oops, it's not even. Yes, here we go. This is not really nice stuff to hang around the place. I'm trying to get the lid off. <laughs> Great demonstration here. Okay, I've got the lid off. I put the pourer back on. I can actually pull that tank out to do it, so it's a bit easier. Here we go. And we pour some electrolysis enhancer in. All right, let's just do a bit there. That's enough, I hope. I'll put the lid back on. No, that's not the lid. This is the lid. And so I put it back in there. I put the calcium thing in there. I put the lid back on. No, that's, that's really, really efficient here. I won't put the lid back on, okay? But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn, turn on the water, which I've got my little, my trusty water system here. And I'm going to have to race off and turn the water on at the mains tap. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Now there was on at the mains tap. I've got my trusty water system here. I'm going to turn on the unit. I'm going to press strong acid and I'm going to turn on the tap. Wrong tap. Turn on this tap here. Okay, now here it goes. It's beeping at me to tell me the strong acid coming through. Uh, it's starting to process. It's mixing this stuff with the water that's coming in and it's producing strong acidic water. Okay. That's what's involved. Let's stop it. I'll turn the power off. I'll turn the water off. See all those steps? That's what's involved. Okay, you can see, you can probably hear the alkaline water dribbling away because it splits the water to get this effect. Now, a lot of people rave about it. They say it's fa fabulous. And, and, you know, obviously it is. Um, I have a friend um, who runs a very big company who supplies systems much bigger than this one to restaurants, to, to large meal facilities, to everywhere where large-scale cleaning is done, uh, and they produce thousands of litres of this water with the attendant thousands of litres lost as well. And it's accepted. Unfortunately, it's not the latest technology. And the latest technology has been able to do exactly the same with something like that. $4,000 thereabouts 
less than a tenth of the price. Now let's have a look at it. It has a base, it has a handy little container to put your water in, which I've done, see it there, and it has a spray bottle ready for you to use. The only thing you have to do is add a tiny bit of salt. Here we go. Salt in. There we go. Put the lid on. Put it in. Turn it on. And away it goes. It takes about two or three minutes. I'm not too sure how long. And at the end of it, you've got water with the same abilities as that water, except that it isn't acidic. Now, I just think that's incredible. So you've got all the advantages. It's been proven to kill all the same sort of germs. It has a longer shelf life, apparently. This is even better. And there's, the, the manufacturers are, are quoting up to three months shelf life. That means you can do it once, leave it in the cupboard, and keep using it over and over again. You don't have to go to the machine every time and go through that whole process to get a bit of water and then put it into some sort of dispenser. Excuse me, I'm just going to clean up here while I'm talking. Put it into some sort of dispenser to use. It's ready to go. So that's the difference. And I think that this is going to wipe the floor with that. It's handy, it's simple, it's small, it's ready to use. It doesn't need anything else. Here we go. No, it's still going. See all the bubbles in there while it's going? It goes crazy. And then I'll give you a little audio signal when it's finished. So I'm not going to bore you too much with more talk. Uh, I'm just going to wait until it's finished. There it is. Okay, it's finished. Now, I'm ready to go. Highly antibacterial, non-acidic cleaning water in a form you can use. Not a hard decision. Thank you.